Warning: Sensitive images. Bibigang, make peace. Do good deeds. Having God's peace. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas ofrecen muchas lenguas. Vaya a visitar suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Mana ni trudut alden hiler kartak zashle khayek suprememastertv.com tashe zora schedule. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, gratefully present the Shining World Compassion Award to Jody Whitaker, vegan, in recognition of your tireless work protecting the lives of animal people with all love, respect, and appreciation. Wishing you continued success in your noble endeavors and heaven bless you abundantly, always. Continue watching to find out more. Vegan, because we are not Satan. Caring viewers, Nahelisin means how are you in Turkmen, the official language of Turkmenistan. I am Madvi. The content people of Turkmenistan, a landlocked country in Central Asia, salute you for your loving kindness towards all beings. May your lives be filled with divine blessings. Welcome to the first episode of our show, Jody Whitaker, vegan, committed change maker, part one of two. Jody Whitaker has worked in animal protection for over 30 years. She is the campaign director of Chicago Alliance for Animals, the founder of Center for Ethical Science, and the founder of Partnership to Ban Horse Carriages Worldwide. But her experience doesn't stop here. I worked for m multiple organizations um, starting in 1997. I started at a cageless uh cat shelter in Chicago, a no-kill cageless cat shelter. And then um, I worked at some other jobs, and then I moved to uh, Massachusetts to work for an anti-vivisection society. From there, I worked for the campaign to protect dogs, uh, where we uh, got a ballot initiative on the 2008 election ballot, and we banned greyhound racing in the state, which liberated approximately 2,000 dogs. With her immense drive to protect vulnerable animal people from abuse and exploitation, we asked Jody how she came to form such a kinship with the animal individuals. My family always loved animals. We always had companion animals, uh, cats, dogs, and then we would rescue animals often. <laughs> At one point we rescued a raccoon. Um, we took in a baby lamb whose mother refused to um, nurse her. And we had this lamb in our living room in a pen. <laughs> um, so my parents were very compassionate and uh, that's I believe where I got my uh, love and compassion for animals. So I feel very lucky to have had parents who um, rescued animals and also instilled that love for them in me. Jody's upbringing is such a blessing to the animal persons and her efforts are ongoing as she continues advocating for animal folk who are in unfortunate situations that many other people overlook. We have multiple other campaigns we've worked on. We've gotten um, two festivals in the city of Chicago to stop having uh, live animal acts. Uh, both were having camels and donkeys um, pulling children. So we got both of these festivals, the Taste of Lincoln Avenue and the Puerto Rican Fest to agree to stop having animals at their fests. And now we have a very active campaigns to ban the sale of animals in Lincolnwood, Illinois, uh, which would hopefully get spurred this tortoise who's been in a um, display window for more than 30 years to hopefully to get her to sanctuary. We do have a sanctuary in Iowa willing to take her. 
And uh, we're also trying to free Rocky, a coyote that has been stuck in a cage all alone for more than four years in the Cook County Forest Preserves. In the case of Rocky, the coyote person, much attention has been given to his plight. In addition to protests, Jody has been interviewed by the media. The award-winning British comedian, director, writer and actor Ricky Gervais, vegan, has also spoken out in support of Rocky's release to a sanctuary. Jody has founded several organizations to help the plight of animal people. Let's learn more about why these were started. There was a group of us that decided that we should try to uh, create one organization in the city uh, where other groups that were working on various issues, it would be kind of one source where we could share actions, share um, ideas. Um, and so that's how we formed the Chicago Alliance for Animals uh, back in May of 2015. And we decided that our first campaign would be to try to ban horse carriages in Chicago because we thought this is something that people can see and uh, that we thought would be somewhat easy, not necessarily easy to do, but much easier than, say, you know, working on animal experimentation or big agriculture, as we know those are um, mammoth uh, uh, money makers, and it's going to be harder to make an impact there. The plight of the carriage horse people in Chicago was certainly in need of attention. They are cruel uh, for numerous reasons. Uh, what we documented in Chicago is that uh, there were laws on the books to protect the horses as well as the public but they were never enforced. And this is a case in most cities. Most cities have laws to protect the animal welfare laws as well as the public, but they're simply not enforced. It's a very difficult trade to regulate because it would take um, city employees to be down at a horse carriage stand all day, every day. So what we documented is that the horses were worked more than double what the law allowed in Chicago. The law only allowed six hours and 24 hours and we documented horses being worked more than 12 hours off of it. But we also documented them working the horses when it was too hot. When it was too hot, what the temperature in Chicago was 90 degrees, and they were working them when it was 92, 93 degrees. We also rarely saw them allow the horses to go to the water bucket to drink water. How sad to see the ongoing mistreatment of our humble horse friends merely for entertainment purposes. No to vegan, because you can roast yourself in hellfire for free. We're going to pause for a brief moment to put some water out in the garden for the beautiful bird people visitors. When we return, we'll learn about the achievements of the organization Chicago Alliance for Animals. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show, Jody Whitaker, Vegan, Committed Change Maker, Part 1 of 2. Regarding the plight of carriage horse people, Jody Whitaker is also aware of the many dangers involved in this cruel practice. There are accidents on a regular basis around the world in, in cities where horses are still forced to share the roads with motorcycles, uh, ca cars, ambulances, fire engines, and so forth. You may have heard just uh, last week in New York City, a horse was being worked in extreme heat and he, he had been suffering for hours leading up to his collapse. His name is Ryder and he splayed out on the street. The driver who is his owner uh, was pulling him by the bit, by the painful bit in his mouth, he was whipping him with the reins and he was hitting him. And uh, pictures that have surfaced of this horse show how malnourished he is and his ribs and bones, hip bones sticking out. The dedication that Jody brought to ending the suffering of the horse people is truly inspiring. 
She describes what led to the banning of this cruel practice. We spent, I would say, um, hundreds, if not thousands of hours documenting horse carriages and, and the violations. August 12, 2017 was the first time that my volunteer Barbara and I went down to the horse carriage stand and we started at about 930 in the morning and we documented when the horses arrived. We documented the horses, the driver, the number of the carriage. We stayed down by the horse carriage stand the entire day uh, to, to prove to the city that the horses were being overworked and that they were not getting water. Um, so, for example, if a horse would show up at 10 a.m., and they were supposed to be done within six hours and they would still be on the street sometimes after midnight, after 1 a.m. So we would document that. Working on more than six hours in a 24 hour period. The documentation of the mistreatment of horse people also included video footage that was submitted to the authority who was supposed to be enforcing the laws pertaining to horse persons and their carriages. There's no water. There's usually water here. And so when we would document these violations with our cell phones, with a video, we would then send that documentation to the city agency that was supposed to monitor and enforce the laws regarding the horse carriage trade. We would also send the documentation to Chicago's mayor and Chicago's alderman, the city council. That's how we started urging them to uh, look into this issue and the fact that the laws are not being enforced, the trade is not being monitored. Jody was already working a full-time job in addition to spending her days off and her weekends at the carriage stands documenting the exploitation that was occurring. In addition, together with her group, they attended council meetings once a month, gave out flyers, and had an online petition that people around the world signed. They shared the contact details of legislators and had daily action alerts where people were encouraged to contact the legislators to plead the case of the horse people. The group even had to protest outside the mayor's office because the mayor refused to respond. The media were also used to get the message out with violations reported to officials and the media. A pivotal moment came when a bill had been put on the 2018 agenda. It was a four and a half hour hearing. And after the hearing, the chair of the committee denied us a vote. We had the votes to support it and pass it and get it out of committee where it would have gone to the full city council for a vote. And she blocked the vote and she blocked the democratic process. So I was heartbroken that day. I went home and I cried myself to sleep. And I woke up the next day and started again. And that's the key is if I had given up in September of 2018 and stopped the campaign and stopped testifying before city council and stopped documenting violations, stopped doing our outreach, then the horses would still be on the street right now. Jody's persistence and diligent work did pay off in the end. In April 2020, the organization successfully achieved a positive result at an official level. And then we finally got our bill heard again in March of 2020. And, uh, and right when the pandemic was hitting, and then the, a month later, which it should have been a week later, but because of COVID, uh, the city council meeting got postponed. But then a month later in April of 2020, they voted 46 to four, which was an overwhelming vote to ban them. One of Jody Whitaker's organizations, Partnership to Ban Horse Carriages Worldwide, now over 15 chapters in various cities around United States. They are also working with volunteers in Malta, Spain, and Canada to try to implement similar bans. Our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, has spoken out against the maltreatment of our equine brethren. Even on the riding horses, you know, as professional horse or whatever horse, they always put gag around their mouth so that they can control them. This is terrible. I, I just sometimes, I don't know how we live on this planet, really. The way we treat each other and the way we treat other beings. 
Oh, sometimes I just want to faint, you know, right there. And I just so sorry, so painful, as if I I'm been done to. Cause you can feel it. We are deeply touched by the dedication and persistence of Jody Whitaker, all of the volunteers, and those involved in achieving the ban of horse people drawn carriages in Chicago and worldwide. Wishing you much success in all your future noble endeavors. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, gratefully present the Shining World Compassion Award to Jody Whitaker, vegan, in recognition of your tireless work protecting the lives of animal people with all love, respect, and appreciation. Wishing you continued success in your noble endeavors, and may heaven bless you abundantly, always. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, is deeply grateful to the most merciful, beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy, and or any good cause over the years. As a humble vessel for hears, neutral term for his or hers, compassion and love toward hears precious children. For more information on Chicago Alliance for Animals, please visit chicagoallianceforanimals.org. For more information on Partnership to Ban Horse Carriages Worldwide, please visit partnershiptobanhorsecarriages.com. How sinful is it to feed on animals, which are sustained by the same five elements as human beings? This leads to demonic tendencies besides committing the sin of inflicting cruelty on animals. Sri Sathya Sai Baba, Vegetarian It has been a pleasure to have your company for today's show. Please join us again next week on Tuesday, January 17, 2023, for part two of our show. Coming up next is Purify Yourself and Worship Only God, Part 3 of 3, on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May all global leaders at every level of council and government quickly implement benevolent policies that protect all beings. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell, not rich. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG 